Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 79. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Business 210, Chapter 7. If you're in the class, just go to our Chapter 7 website. Hey, we got to talk about proportions. Now, in the textbook and my PowerPoints and the handwritten notes I have, I have the formulas. Uh, when we're calculating a sample P, that means we go out and ask how many people uh, have an iPod or something. We get a particular X and then all the people and we get some sample proportion. Uh, now the sampling distribution of P uh, is similar. We can use the normal distribution. We have two checks and we'll do them live over in Excel in just a moment before we can use the normal distribution. Uh, similar to our X bar and our, our mu sub x bar or our expected x bar and the population mean with a proportion expected p bar is equal to the proportion of the population. And here's our formulas. We have to have a formula just like we did with our mu to make the standard deviation much smaller. Ooh, and there's a correction factor, just like there was for x bar. The same test is given. Is little n divided by n less than or equal to 0.05? If that's the case, then just go ahead. You don't have to use that correction factor. Let's go ahead and see our example here. Assume the population proportion p, which is the proportion of Americans that balance their checkbook, is 0.56. If the population in the USA is 300 million and we take a sample of 400 Americans, answer the following questions. So I just put our numbers here. There's our N, right? That's the population of the United States. And we do a sample of uh, 400. First, let's do this little calculation. We didn't do it for our X bar, but we'll do it here. You can I this one, you know, 400 divided by 300 million is going to be a lot smaller than 0.05, right? Ding, ding, ding. It says true over here. Ooh, it's very small. Hey, we haven't talked about this. This probably popped up in some of your workbooks. That's scientific notation. That means you have to take minus 6. E to the minus 6 means you take that decimal and you go and count 6 times. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is a bunch of zero, 6 zeros and then 1, 3, 3, 3, 3, etc. Is that smaller than 0 0.015? Yes, it is. Now, let's calculate our standard error. It's slightly different. You have to say P times the complement of P divided by N and take the square root of it. So here we go. Equals square root P times, in parentheses, 1 minus P, and then divided by our n. Now, you don't have to put this part in parentheses because the order of operations will do it left to right. So automatically, order of operations will make this uh, all calculate before it does the division. Now we close parentheses and enter. Ooh, so uh, the standard area is going to be 0 0.0248. That's compared to our 0.56. So with this standard error, standard deviation of the sampling distribution for P bar uh, above and below uh, would give us one minus one and one standard deviation. Now we have to test whether we can use the normal uh, distribution for uh, our calculations. The first one is n times p has to be greater than five. So we'll say equals n, the little n, that's our sample size times our p. Oh, yeah, true. It says true there. Hey, that's cool. How's that popping up? Oh, look, there's a little formula there, and then conditional formatting. Uh, and then we have to check this. Oh, oh, n times the complement of p. So equals our sample size times the complement of p. Ding, 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 ding. That one is true. So that means because we pass both of these tests, we can go ahead and use the normal distribution. Now, uh oh, how are we going to calculate our expected p bar? Uh, this is the uh, mu for all of the p bars, just like we saw with x bars. Oh, yeah, it's the same. It's equal to our population proportion. Isn't that convenient? Now, our question is going to be, 
we want to within point 0 0.02 above and below and point 0 0.04 above and below. We want to calculate the probability, or here's the question right here. The prob what is the probability that the sample proportion will be within plus or minus point zero two of the population proportion? All right, so um, first we have to calculate uh, p bar one and p bar two. So we have to take our mean up here. And for this uh, lower one, we'll say minus. Actually, I'm going to lock this F4. And I'll say minus that tab. And then equals, and I'll go up and get my proportion, plus, and I want to lock this. I forgot again, I'll put my cursor there in F4. Lock this on that. OK, so now we get above and below. Now watch this. I can just copy this down, right? Because I thought about it, I locked that one, and this one's right below. So we want to go, between, what's the probability between these and what's the probability of between these? Well, I'm going to highlight both cells and do our norm dist. Now, the norm dist can be used for x, x bars, uh, proportions, and uh, p bars. Norm dist. Now we need our x. Notice it says x there. That's just you know Bill Gates and Microsoft putting in there. But we know it can be an x bar or a uh, P bar or whatever it might be. The upper end, comma, and then I have to go up and get my, you notice it says mean, right? But we know it, it can be the uh, proportion from the population there. I'm going to hit F4, comma, and here we have to use our standard deviation for the sampling distribution, standard error, and I'm going to hit F4 comma 1, it's always cumulative from the left. That's the big one, right? So now we have to copy this. And it's safer to go up here, you know, sometimes minus this. And now I'm going to, uh-oh, and I can't reach that. Oh, I can't reach that one at all. Um, E13, so I was in, one of them was in E13, and the one before was there, so I'm just going to change this to D. All right, and then Control Enter. I'm going to check. Ooh, this is. So here's how you can uh, get away with that. You can go like this way over here, and now do it. Uh, and now you can see that it got the right ones, and it's locked on those. So that one worked. And then I'm going to move it back. That's that formatting. Get anyway. Oh, look at that. So there's some probability. So our our answer over here, if I can scoot this formula one out of the way, the probability that the sample proportion is within plus or minus 0 0.02 of the population proportion is 57.97. If we go up to 0.4, it's 89.30. Now, of course, we saw in our last video, if we were to I I increase this maybe to 1,000, right? Then the probabilities would go up a lot, right? So sample size matters a lot. I'm going to change this back to 400. All right, so that's a little uh, bit about the proportions. And uh, that is chapter 7, the amazing sampling distribution of the sample mean and the sample proportion. Uh, next chapter, we'll get to do intervals, and then the following chapter, we'll do hypothesis testing and uh, kind of bring everything we've learned in this class into use. All right, we'll see you next chapter.